Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another reading. Um, this reading is going to be on Beyonce's husband, AKA Campbell Face, Chloe Bailey, and Normani. Before we get into the reading, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications, okay? And follow me on Instagram. So we're gonna start off with um, Normani and Chloe Bailey. What's the energy between them? Normani and Chloe Bailey. What is the energy between Normani and Chloe Bailey? Okay. So I do see that um, despite them taking pictures and being in, um, you know, photos together at public events, there is a competitive energy. Okay, the Justice card is here in reverse. It talks about unfairness. So Normani kind of has the energy of people are switching on her because of Chloe Bailey. That's how she feels. People are not really hyping her up or um, backing her because of Chloe Bailey. We have the Five of Swords. This talks about resentment. This talks about, you know, betrayal. Okay, so she kind of feels like people betrayed her. Okay, we also have the Eight of Wands. This talks about um, imbalance, excessiveness. So she does feel like Chloe Bailey could be excessive, okay? And what she does, like somebody that has to go over and beyond in everything to um, make people kind of see them. So she that's an energy of excessiveness, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands, this talks about communication. They have been... They've communicated in the past, okay? Um, but ultimately, it does, there is a competitive energy between them. The Knight of Pentacles is talks about finding somebody successful. So they do see each other as successful or getting that success. We do have the Ten of Cups in reverse. It talks about a struggling relationship. So they're not as close as people like to perceive them. People were saying how they're friends. Da, 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 da. That's all for the public image so that people um, don't try to put them together or put them against each other, but really they do see each other as competition. And then we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This talks about burdens. This talks about, you know, carrying extra work on your back. And that's how they feel. They feel like now they got to go extra hard because... People used to compare Normani to Beyonce. Now they're comparing Chloe Bailey to Beyonce. So it's all about that image to look who is better, okay? Who is going to take Beyonce's place, okay? And the replacement thing, that's real, okay? You saw what they trying to do to Nikki. You see it right happening right before your eyes. And it happens to everybody, not just Beyonce, not just women either. Um, it's just more frequent in, in women because, you know, once women get to a certain age, they're perceived as washed up, old, blah, blah, blah. But it happens all the time, okay? So I can see them um, working together if somebody brings them together. And it's the same thing with Nikki and Drake. It's like when, you know, they weren't really on the same page, you know, Wayne had to bring them together. But I do see that they could work together. But there is an energy of um, competitiveness, okay? So what's the energy around Chloe Bailey and Jay-Z? Camel face, Beyonce's husband. What is the energy around Chloe Bailey and Beyonce's husband? Uh, Beyonce's husband and Chloe Bailey. What is the energy around them? How do they feel about each other? How does Jay-Z feel about Chloe Bailey? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So he is definitely, I definitely will say that he is attracted to her. You think she's a very beautiful girl. He's he's very attracted to her. The King of Cups. This talks about 
uh, manipulation, being emotionally manipulative, okay? He will try to, he's going to try to work with her, okay? We do have the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? Let me get this card out. This talks about, um, you know, opportunities, being financially independent, um, having abundance. So he does want to work with her, give her some opportunities. We do have the Emperor card in reverse, okay? This talks about, you know, using your power for uh, not not good, you know, using your power for bad, basically. Um, you know, being manipulative, poor planning, um, doing things underhanded. He is watching her, though, okay? The Nine of Wands here, he is watching her, okay? He would like to work with her. He's very attracted to her. She needs to be careful with him. He's very attractive to her. Attracted to her, okay? Then we got the Ten of Swords here. This talks about, you know, being deceptive, um, you know, scheming, you know, doing things that you're not really supposed to be doing. He has his eyes on Chloe right now. And I do feel like she would take him up on his opportunity to work with her. She has a very ambitious energy like you know what i gotta do what i gotta do to make it to the top okay and a lot of people feel that way megan says she don't care who she gotta knock down to get to the top she said that in a song so this talks about being ambitious okay um the three of cups this talks about working together collaboration so um it does look like he wants to work with her maybe she'll sign to rock nation oh that is not gonna be good um but they do want to work together. He's very attracted to her. What is the energy between Beyonce's husband and Normani? What's the energy between Beyonce's husband and Normani? Beyonce's husband, Jay-Z, and Normani. What's the energy between them two? Mm. Yeah, they're not on the same page right now. This talks about, there's a lot of miscommunication. Um, the lover's card in reverse, this talks about disharmony. We have the queen of pentacles here. This talks about work-home conflict, okay? So it's almost like he feels like she's not putting enough effort in, okay? The ten of pentacles, this talks about the dark side of, you know, the industry, dark side of wealth, doesn't feel like she's really putting in uh, enough energy into her music. Um, not even releasing singles, okay? Um, I don't see that he he would drop her per se, because usually uh, an artist drops management. But I do feel like eventually they will cut ties. Eventually they will cut ties some way, shape, or form. Um, the Knight of Swords, not really fighting for anything, being impulsive. Okay, not really fighting for her spot. Um, you know, eight of pentacles, this talks about misdirected, you know, not focusing on yourself, not focusing on your craft. That's how he feels about Normani. She's not satisfied either. She feels like, you know, he's manipulative. Okay, um, you know, the lover's card in reverse, that just talks about you not being on a, one accord with someone, a, a disharmony, you not really messing with that person. Um, you know, and we all know how Campbell Face can be. Let's just be all the way 1,000. Rihanna, Rita Ora, Bridget Kelly. Okay, there's multiple Beckys with good hair. So we all know how he gets down. So he's very, oh, Mariah Carey. He used to mess with Mariah Carey back in the day. So you got to watch out for uh, Camel Face, man. Anyway, if you like this reading, really like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications and have a great day.